dream of the Pedro Martinez Foundation is to bring opportunity to kids in both the Dominican Republic and the U.S., whether through sports or education. It's a big task. It's a big challenge for third world countries to raise good kids with good education. So that's what we're looking forward to do. Leading the foundation, Carolina and Pedro Martinez, surrounded by friends, fellow athletes and supporters, are raising money to fund a charter school and sports complex in the DR. The last couple years has been tough for everybody to, to keep things together. With, with COVID and, and the restrictions and, and all that. And so it's nice to, to see this event back up and running again. It's the work that we're doing together to make an impact. I think that sends a great message. Now, when we were talking with Carolina Martinez a little bit earlier today, she told us the name of that charter school that they're building is Power and Learning. And she says that's what tonight is all about, helping kids not only today, but for years to come. They have seven buildings right now that they've already funded. They have to fund four more. So that's why we're here tonight to be able to donate, to support, and to make this dream come true for Pedro and Carolina, and to just give these kids opportunities. Earlier uh, this evening, I had the pleasure of speaking uh, with Carolina and Pedro, and I learned of their love of Boston and how important Boston uh, is to both of them and how it really uh, shaped their lives. Uh, and I know many of us can relate to that story. I certainly can as the first woman mayor and the first black mayor of Boston who grew up in this city uh, and experienced so much in this city uh, and not always things that were good. Uh, but here we are now at a place of renewal for our city. And I'm just really grateful for all of the people uh, in Boston who are doing so much to make sure that we come out of the pandemic stronger than before. And certainly, it is people like you, Pedro and Carolina, who do so much uh, for people all over uh, the country. And so I wanted to take a moment to honor you with a proclamation from the city of Boston. Thank you so much. We weren't expecting this. Uh, we want to thank you. Thank you, um, City of Boston. Thank you, Mayor. Um, you know, we don't do this type of work to get recognitions. Um, we don't do this type of work to get accolades or, you know, for, for us to receive any kind of, of credit. Uh, we do this type of work um, because we have feel, touch, um, seen, the need in a country that God allows us to be born in, called Dominican Republic. And, um, you know, we are in a position, which is what I always say, that God has given us much more than that, what we deserved or expected. Um, and the fact that, you know, he allows us uh, the opportunity to serve kids in need, um, it's all we need. It's all we need to keep going. So um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Boston. Um, it means a lot for us um, that we get this from, from a city that is so beloved in our hearts. Thank you. Hola. <laughs> See, when you say that, people laugh, not me. Yeah, they laugh because I, I think it's, they, they find it funny and they, they just never know with Pedro on, on a microphone. Uh, I must say, Mayor, um, I'm extremely proud to uh, be recognized by you, by the city, by uh, uh, all, every Bostonian out there. Um, uh, I'm extremely proud to feel like I'm part of it, like, like I, I really understand what you went through. I really understand what Boston is all about, but I'm also extremely happy to uh, have become part of the culture of Boston. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Larry, Larry, Charles, and everybody, they didn't know what they were getting themselves into. <laughs> Bring this Latino, Dominicano coming over. Um, I, I, I feel really uh, proud and blessed to, to form now what I call my, my second home. Boston, because I would never deny that I was born and raised in the Dominican Republic, but if there's a city that I can say I'm proud to be 
call a son of a city, it's got to be Boston. And uh, I, I thank every one of you that's here. Mi capitán, my, my, my teammate, my, my uh, colleague, my, uh, my partner in crime. Uh, you know how much I care about Boston, how much I care about everything I do. Uh, for the guys that are here, most of them, uh, I know, Corey, you, you're American, but you might be a Dominican undercover. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but all the people that we have here from football, uh, I don't understand much about football, but uh, I know that the guys hit really hard. And I'm glad I chose baseball instead of a running back coming after me. Uh, I have to tip my hat to Tom Brady for having those big guys coming after him every year. And it doesn't seem like he, wanna, he wants to give it up. I mean, the guy is just great. Uh, Boston has been great uh, for the players that are here. I think it's important that I tell them how important it is that they continue to follow on, on what I probably dreamed to do. And uh, I think it's important that they know that baseball is not just a game. Baseball is not about performance, uh, trophies, awards, and uh, all the things that, that come around it. Uh, big salaries, fame, uh, all those things. Uh, I think baseball goes beyond that. And we need to continue to set an example for everyone out there and give everyone hope, hope that I got through baseball. I return tomorrow to the Dominican Republic with joy, with hope, and happy, as you don't even imagine. Because just by being here, you just already make a decision to make a change. Just by being here, you are telling us that you care. So, thank you for being here. Have a nice night.